Okay, my name is Jim, and what we're going to do today is create a stored procedure. Um, this stored procedure is going to do some archiving, and it's going to be in the AdventureWorks database. Um, we're running here on SQL Server 2008 Pro, full version. And let's get started. So I've downloaded the Microsoft AdventureWorks 2008 database that is set up by Microsoft so you can do some database work with a nice set, uh, data set. So if we open this up and we have a look inside, there's a transaction and transaction history table. Okay. Let's go ahead and just have a look at those quickly. So here we are in production, looking at the transaction history and the archive for it. Okay. And what we need to do is some archiving. We need to move from history to the archive. Going to make a store procedure that does that. And let's get started. Let's not waste any time. So, procedure. And go is how you finish it up. Now, I always do select statements first. We will be moving things, which, um, as we're doing it here, it means that we're going to be doing a insert from uh, one table into another, and then we'll have to delete behind so that we clean up and make it into a move. Okay? Now, that said, transaction history is where we're coming from, so let's go ahead and grab a nice select query and take the top thousand rows part off. F5, we're in good shape. And let's get an order by in here. And let's do this by modify date. Okay. Okay, so let's run this guy here. All right, and so now with the order by and ascending order, we know that here is the oldest date in the database. This is the top. We've already sorted by ascending. So let's go ahead then and archive the month of September in 2003. Okay, so right off the bat, let's get this guy moved over to our store procedure. Okay. Okay. That should work fine. All right. Press F5. And there it is. All right. So now, if we go have a quick peek under programmability, store procedures, we're going to have to refresh it for it to show. And under production, it should appear. There it is. Now, their convention is to use USP. That's all right. We won't for now. So anyway, from here on, we're going to have to call alter when we work on it. Let's go ahead and run this guy. No parameters as of yet. It'll create the script. We're good to go. Okay. And here's everything. It turned just fine. Okay. This, When we call execute, it's going to give us a generic script. It just declares a little variable to catch anything in return. It goes ahead and runs our store procedure, and we get the result back. Pretty simple, straightforward. So... The reason we did the select statement first is so that we can whittle down on what we're going to return. There's going to be a couple different ways that we can do this. First, we can do a couple different things. Now, first off, I always like using an alias to make things go faster. 
like that, and then down here, ch dot, and we're going to be working on the date, right? Now, one way we can do this is to say, use the month function like this, and since we're going to be working on September, I know we're not going to hard code this. We're going to put the parameter in here shortly. But first we're going to run it with all of the uh, conditions in place. And then we can use year. And we'll go up and just copy this. Oh, didn't mean to scroll. And... Now, let's highlight just that part, run it, and here we go, and we should have an ascending order that's top to bottom, September 2003, the whole thing. Okay, and then we can parameterize these two. That's method number one. Method number two would be to just take a date in here and take another date here. Okay, I know that I could technically use the word, the keyword between, but I'm not going to do that this time. I'm not a big fan of approaching it that way. But you can. Okay, let's get this set up. The usual convention is to give the year dash month dash date. Uh, let's see, a one. So it's going to be less than the thirtieth, and greater or equal than the first. Okay. And again, let's just highlight that part. Make sure that this runs. It does. All right. So now, let's give ourselves an updated stored procedure then. F5, we'll resave it as an altered procedure. And let's give ourselves some parameters. Small date time. Well, and okay, and we'll go down here and say. Start date there, and say end date here. Okay, now I'm aware that you have default parameters you can put in here, and we'll hit that so that uh, programmers hitting this uh, or DBAs using this script in the future or whoever will not crash it. Okay, so that it'll be. Uh, bulletproof as we say but for now let's just get this thing running and get it upgraded so press F5 we're good to go okay so now we go back we need to have those new parameters put in I think it's faster just to go ahead and launch it off from here with execute okay and let's go ahead and give it a date Let's see. Do we have that script where we had that saved? We don't. All right, then we'll have to capture it off from here. Save, and we'll just modify it. Execute, put in here. <laughs> it just captured the. Okay, we'll type it. That's fine. Uh, 2003 
dash a nine dash dash a one and we'll put this in down here it has to be the thirtieth all right so we've got the first to the thirtieth of September two thousand three. Okay, and it created the script for us. Again, this works faster when you do it this way. So you can see there's the two parameters, properly named, and the return value, if any, which is going to be zero because I'm not returning it. And we see there's the first down to, there's the 30th, all the way down to the bottom. All right, so we're good to go. We're getting the proper stuff returned. Now, now, let's go back and move on to the next part. So we got our strip procedure so that now we're grabbing what we need. So the next step is to go ahead and insert it into the other table. Okay? Now, I know that the schema of both tables is the same because this is the history and I checked already and I can tell you that the archive is the same. Okay. I mean, I can prove that, but we don't really have time in this video. So what we're going to do then is we're going to grab that and go ahead and set up our insert statement on top of this. And do that like this. Or in this one, it's going to be the archive, just like that. And we'll grab all these bad boys here. Okay. So now. We're going to select that month, and it's going to move it over to the uh, History Archive. Now